Hopefully. Hopefully. Uh, we will find out in a minute. Can't hear any game sound. Sorry. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know why, it always seems to, uh, I'm obviously doing something wrong, it always seems to default to the link of what was previously on Twitch, for me, let's see, uh, alright, uh, let's hope. Okay. I'm going to presume that this is working and start playing. Oh, sound. I have sound. That's good. Sound is a helpful thing to have. Situation. Uh, so, yeah, I've played this game before. Um, unsurprisingly, you probably have as well if you're into games. PC games, Xbox games, PlayStation games. I think it was on lots of platforms. Uh, but, yeah, I love the original. In the orange box was... Spectacular, obviously I was not alone in that, but I thought it was fantastic. Um, and was very much looking forward to the sequel, which I really, really enjoyed. Uh, I still think the first one is kind of perfect size for what it is. Um, but I did also really enjoy the second one. And I've played single player and cooperative, but I've got no one to cooperate with tonight. So I think I'm just going to start from the beginning of single player. Uh, for those of you who uh, want to relive memories, or if you've never played the game. Those of you who want to... Um, experience it through watching me play it, which honestly is probably not the best way to do it, but I'm not going to make your life choices for you. So let's do it. New game. Courtesy call. Okay. Fabulous voice work in this game. So I, I uh, seems almost a shame to talk over the top of it, but hey, that's what I'm going to do. Good morning. You have been in suspension for 50 days. In compliance with state and federal regulations, all testing candidates in the Aperture Science Extended Relaxation Center must be revived periodically for a mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. Extended relaxation. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look up at the ceiling. Good. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look down at the floor. Good. This completes the gymnastic portion of your mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. There is a framed painting on the wall. Please go stand in front of it. Let's go appreciate some art. In fact, let's just take a moment to appreciate a this rotary dial. Please go stand Wait, in front of it. Wait, it's not rotary. It's just an old school bake light. Good times. This is art. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, stare at the art. Staring, staring. You should now feel staring. mentally reinvigorated. If you I suspect do. staring at art has not provided the required intellectual sustenance, reflect briefly on this classical music. Love Good. that buzzer. Now please return to your bed. That is a quality buzzer tone. Good morning. You have been in suspension for nine, 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 nine. This courtesy call Hello? is to inform you that Anyone all in there? test subjects should vacate the enrichment Hello? center immediately. Any test subject Are you going to open the door at this time? Any time? Will be to have exercised his or her Hello? right to remain in extended no? relaxation. For the Are you going to open this door? Because it's, fa it's fairly urgent. Or concerns regarding this policy. Well, just open the door. I think I've stayed in this Hello, motel. Friend. Why not open the door? Absolutely, I have. Could be Spanish. Could be Spanish. Hola, amigo. Abre la puerta. Donde esta? No. Um. Fine. No. Fine. Absolutely fine. It's not like I don't have you know ten thousand other test subjects. Ha! Ah! Oh God. You look. Te um. Good. Looking good, actually. Are you okay? How are you? Well, don't answer that. I'm absolutely sure you're fine. There's plenty of time for you to recover. Just take it. Please sleep. prepare for emergency evacuation. Stay calm. Stay, stay calm. Prepare. It's all the same. Prepare. It's all fine. All right. 
Don't move. I'm gonna get us out of here. It's nice oh, to see this you again. You might uh, want to hang on to something. Word of advice, up to you. I use the uh, vibe a lot, so I sort of see this aperture theming and did when I first got the vibe a lot. You're right down there. Nice Can you game. hear me? Hello? Most test subjects do experience some uh, cognitive deterioration after a few months in suspension. Now, you've been under for quite a lot longer, <laughs> and it's not out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious brain damage. But don't be alarmed, Checks all right? Uh, although if you do, if you do feel alarmed, try to hold on to that feeling because that is the proper reaction to being told that you've got brain damage. Do you understand what I'm saying at all? Does any of this make any sense? Just tell me, just say yes. Okay, what you're doing there is jumping. Uh, you just you just jumped, but never mind. Say apple, apple. Okay, you know what? That's close enough. Just hold tight. All reactor core safeguards are now non-functional. Please prepare for reactor core meltdown. That's what you want. Okay, to look, I wasn't going to mention this to you, but I'm in pretty hot water here. How are you doing down there? You still holding on? The reserve power ran out, so of course the whole relaxation center stops waking up the bloody test subjects. Hold on, this is a bit tricky. And of course, nobody tells me anything. No, why should you tell me anything? This stream may mostly just Why be should smiling. I be kept informed? You know, about the life functions of the 10,000 bloody test subjects I'm supposed to be in charge of. Why? It's close. Can you see? Am I gonna make it through? Have I got enough space? Uh, just, just gotta get through here. Okay, I just gotta concentrate. And whose fault do you think it's gonna be when the management comes down here and finds 10,000 flipping vegetables? Yours. Alright, see, so now I hit that one. I hit that one. Okay, listen, we should get our story straight, alright? If anyone asks, and no one's gonna ask, don't worry, but if anyone asks, Tell them as far as you know, the last time you checked, everyone looked pretty much alive. All right? Not dead. Okay, almost there. So far, On the other side of that wall is one of the old testing tracks. There's a piece of equipment in there that we're gonna need to get out of here. I, I think this is a docking station. Get ready. Good news, that is not a docking station. So there's one mystery solved. Uh, I'm gonna attempt a manual override on this wall. Could get a bit technical. Hold on. Almost there. Remember, you're looking for a gun that I've makes manual holes. manual override it. Not bullet holes. My time. Don't worry, you'll figure it out. Seriously, do hold on this time. Not quite this And again, welcome to the Aperture nice. Science Enrichment Center. We it are currently one thing experiencing I love technical difficulties due to circumstances of potentially apocalyptic significance having undergone beyond the our control. Of time. However, thanks to emergency testing protocols, testing can continue. These pre-recorded messages will provide instructional and motivational support so that science can still be done, even in the event of environmental, social, economic, or structural collapse. The portal will open, and emergency testing will begin in three, Two, one. Hello, portal. Love that portal sound. Cube and button based testing remains an important tool for I couldn't science. find my companion cube. I have a companion cube. Made if cube and button based testing caused this emergency, don't worry. The odds of this happening twice are very slim. But that's okay. I will have to make do with the companion cubes within the game. Please note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This aperture science material emancipation grill will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through. And you end up with that taste of blood in your mouth. You go through. Science! Well, hello, viewers. Uh, if, if indeed there are viewers, it says there are, but who knows these days?
Uh, say hi if you, if you um, feel care to. Running down your neck, relax, lie Purple on your duck. back, and apply you immediate pressure to your temples. You are simply experiencing a rare reaction in which the material emancipation grill may have emancipated the ear tubes inside your head. Oh, companion cube. A good companion. Science! Uh, I'm not gonna say the line. Xeno paradoxus. I'm not. There will be cake. That's what I'm gonna say. There will be cake. Uh, it may involve me leaving five minutes for the end of the stream and uh, just you have to just stare at the game playing itself but I'm going to make sure there is cake absolutely cake for all I made a portal cake once for a video um, and it was fun to eat okay uh, I was distracted now by people hey Selkos how you doing good to see you good to see you science indeed uh, where was I oh yeah uh, I uh, was leaving after solving puzzle portal based puzzles good because of the technical difficulties well, we are currently we experiencing in, in your test environment change. is unsupervised I'm usually pretty slow before re-entering a relaxation vault at the conclusion of testing please take a moment to write down the results of your test an uh, aperture science reintegration associate will revive you for an interview when society has been rebuilt Alright. Yeah, I uh, frequently didn't buy a portal gun, like a replica portal gun, but boy, did I want to. It just didn't seem a sensible investment. Uh, <laughs> if the Earth is currently governed by a manner of animal oh, king, sentient cloud, or other governing body that either refuses to or is incapable of listening to it. I love the art for the. Um, for that. And this continues on for those of you who've used the Vive. They continue this kind of uh, um, visual styling for all the Vive stuff um, in like the lab. And it's fantastic for virtual reality. It's really good. If you get a chance to even try out that part of it, it's, and you're a Portal fan or a uh, Portal 2 fan, it's great. Hey, you made it! I may have teared up a little bit. There should be a, a Portal device on that podium over there. In virtual reality. I can't see it though. Maybe. Maybe it fell off. Do you want to go and have a quick look? Oh! Hello? Can you see the portal gun? Also, are you alive? If that's important, you should have asked that first. I'm, do you know what I'm going to do? Love I'm going to work on the assumption that you're still alive. It looks pleasingly like fan art. I'll wait, I'll wait really good fan art. Then I'll come back, and assuming I can locate your dead body, I'll bury you. Alright. Hey! Oh, how you doing? But yeah, I kind of wish I'd brought cake just to begin with to eat while playing the game. That was a serious um, oversight. Xeno Paradoxus. I should have done that. Should have had the cake standing by. Some emergency testing may require prolonged interaction with lethal military androids. Rest assured that all lethal military androids have been taught to read and provided with one copy of the laws of robots to share. If you feel that a lethal military android has not respected your rights as detailed in the laws of robotics, please note it on your self-reporting form. A future Aperture Science Entitlement Associate will initiate the appropriate grievance filing paperwork. I bet you will. A 
Also, if you uh, have played this game, you don't really get to hear everything the orbs say at the end. The, um, if you get a chance to go into the files and have a look at the, like, the adventure one, uh, just the full like, voice work, because they recorded way more than you sort of get to hear in the game. This next test is fantastic. very dangerous. To help you remain tranquil in the face of almost certain death, smooth jazz will be deployed in three, two, one. Quite quotable too. Um, bait, I'd say on a regular basis. More than the cake one. Honestly. Get me some companion cubie, cubiness. I played this in VR, so it doesn't exist in VR, but you can um, you can do it, and I did it, and it was fun, but uh, also kind of uh, <laughs> it did make me a little nauseous from time to time um, doing this in VR because it's not set up for that and it, um, the motion and yeah, it was good fun though. I was thinking of streaming me do it and doing it in VR, mixed reality, but I wasn't sure how that go, as it's already a, a technical feat to play it, honestly. Right, See, already it's a puzzle and I'm confused. Cube. Up there. Oh, whoops. Forgot about velocity. <laughs> Wait, where was the other cube, did we say? Up there. Okay. Great work. Because this Thank message you. is pre-recorded, any Done observations it. related to your performance are speculation on our part. Please disregard any undeserved compliments. The design of these games is so clever. It really is. Rarely do you get completely lost. I mean, not never, but rarely. stuck. Not quite stuck. Not enough loading time to go get cake. If the Enrichment Center is currently being bombarded with fireballs, meteorites, or other objects from space, please avoid unsheltered testing areas wherever a lack of shelter from space debris does not appear to be a deliberate part of the test. Alright. 
What do we got here? Alright, uh, I've already, see I'm already forgetting how, how to get around, so right, I'm gonna get up there, um, that lift. Alright, cool. Nice. Hello. Okay. That opened. Oh yeah, that's right. Put that up. Nice. Oh, whoops. Yeah! Cool. So I'm not sure. I don't really remember where I'm uh, putting this one. Well done. I guess I'm the Enrichment Center reminds you that although circumstances may appear bleak, you are not alone. All Aperture Science personality constructs will remain functional in apocalyptic, low-power environments of as few as 1.1 volts. Good to know. This next test applies the principles of momentum to movement through portals. If the laws of physics no longer apply in the future, God help you. <laughs> All right. Good old momentum. All oh, right, I need a cube or something, do I? Where would I find? Ah, there. There I would find one. Cool. Employee who has discovered this facility amid the ruins of civilization. Welcome. And remember, testing is the future, and the future starts with you. Oh, strange. 
positive. Okay. Right here then. somewhere or something. Where's that button? Or, or cube. Rather. Okay, now where does this need to go? Successful. Oh, wait, yes. I guess so. Did I miss the way out? Oh, that didn't open the way out. Did it? Getting this far, future starter? Thank you. That said, if you are simple minded, old, or irradiated in such a way that the future should not start with you, please return to your primitive tribe and send back someone better qualified for testing. That's not very nice. To ensure that sufficient power remains for core testing protocols, all safety devices have been disabled. The Enrichment Center respects your right to have questions or concerns about this policy. Hey! Oi, oi! I'm up here! Up where? Oh, oh brilliant! There you did find a portal gun! Oh, the, do you know what? It just goes to show people with brain damage are the real heroes in the end, aren't they, at the end of the day? Brave. Pop a portal on that wall behind me there, and I'll meet you on the other side of the room. Already doing it. Already on it. Okay, listen, let me lay something on you here. It's pretty heavy. They told me never, never, ever to disengage myself from my management rail or I would die. But we're out of options here. So get ready to catch me, all right, on the off chance that I'm not dead the moment I pop off this thing. On three. Ready? One. Ready. Two. Three! That's high. It's it's too high, isn't it, really, that? All right, going on three just gives you too much time to think about it. Let's uh, go on one this time. Okay, ready? Ready. Oh, catch me, catch me. Ow. Oh, sorry. sorry I am not dead. I'm not dead. <laughs> Plug me into that stick on the wall over there, yeah? And I'll show you something. You'll be impressed by this. What stick? Go on, just jam me in over there. Over where? Oh, over there. How did I miss Right that? on that stick, over there, just put me right... Um... Yeah, I can't do it if you're watching. Seriously, I'm not, I'm not joking. Can you just turn around for a second? <laughs> okay. Alright, you can turn around now. Bam! Secret panel. Not open. While your back was turned. Pick me up. Let's get out of here. And off we go. Look at this! No rail to tell us where to go. Oh, this is brilliant. You can go wherever we want. Just... Hold on, though. Where are we going? Seriously. Hang on, let me just get my bearings. Um, See, Merchant sounds like the doctor sometimes. Just follow the rail, actually. Oh, no. That's brilliant. That's very yes, hello. No, we're not stopping. Don't make eye contact. Whatever you do. No, thanks. We're good. Appreciate it. 
Keep moving, keep moving. Hello. I've been playing for half an hour now. I feel like really I should be eating cake. Probably ought to bring you up to speed on something right now. In order to escape, we're going to have to go through her chamber. And she will probably kill us if, if she's um, awake. Okay, I'm going to lay my cards on the table. I don't want to do it. I don't want to go in there. Don't, don't go in there. She, she's off. She's off. Don't panic over. She's off. All fine. On we go. There she is. What a nasty piece of work she was, honestly. Like a proper maniac. Do yeah. you know who ended up, uh, do you know who ended up taking her down in the end? You're not going to believe this. A human. I know. I know. I wouldn't have believed it either. Apparently this human escaped and uh, nobody's seen him since. Then there was a sort of long chunk of time where um, absolutely nothing happened. And then there's us escaping now. So um, that's pretty much the whole story. You're up to speed. <laughs> Don't touch anything. Jump! This ah! Oh, still held. Still being held. You that's a great job. You've applied the grit. We're all fine. That's tremendous. Ah! I just, sorry, I just looked down. I do not recommend it. Ah! I've just done it again. This is the main breaker room. Look for a switch that says escape pod. All right, don't touch anything else. Not interested in anything else. Don't touch anything else. Don't, don't even look at anything else. Just, well, obviously you've got to look at everything else to, to find the escape pod. But as soon as you look at something that doesn't say escape pod, look at something else. Look at the next thing, all right? But don't touch anything else or look at anything. Well, look at other things, but don't. You understand. Can you see it anywhere? I can't see it anywhere. Uh, tell you what, plug me in and I'll turn the lights on. Let there be light. That's uh, God. He's quoting God. Oh, look at that! Turning. Ominous. But probably fine, as long as it doesn't start, you know, moving up. Now. Escape pod, escape pod. This is moving up. Okay. Okay, no, don't, don't worry, don't worry. I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. This should slow it down. No, makes it go faster. Uh oh. Power up initiated. Okay, don't panic. All right, stop panicking. Uh, I can, I can still stop this. Um, uh, oh, there's a, there's a password. Okay, it's fine. I'll just, I'll just hack it. Not a problem. A A A A A. Um. A A A A A A C. Wait, did I do beat the German pen? Start writing these. Power up, complete. I don't. Okay, okay, okay. Listen. All right, new plan. Act natural. Act natural. Nothing. Hello. Oh. It's you. You know her? It's been a long time. How have you been? Uh, I've been bad. really busy being dead. You know, after you murdered me. You did what? I uh, mean, I did. Oh no! You tried to murder oh, no, me no. first. Oh no, 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 no! Spoilers for Portal no. 1. Okay, look, we both said a lot of things that you're going to regret. But I think we can put our differences behind us. For silence, you monster. I will say, though, that since you went to all the trouble of waking me up, you must really, really love to test. I love it, too. There's just one small thing we need to take care of first. They didn't get completely burned when you threw them down here. The dual portal device should be around here somewhere. Once you find it, we can start testing, just like old time. Just like old times indeed. There it is. Hold on. There. Good. You have a dual portal device. There should be a way back to the testing area up ahead. Once testing starts, I'm required by protocol to keep interaction with you to a minimum. Luckily, we haven't started testing yet. This will be our only chance to talk.
Here, let me get that for you. Do you know the biggest lesson I learned from what you did? I discovered I have a sort of black box quick save feature. In the event of a catastrophic failure, the last two minutes of my life are preserved for analysis. I was able, well, forced really, to relive you killing me, again and again, forever. You know, if you'd done that to somebody else, they might devote their existence to exacting revenge. Luckily, I'm a bigger person than that. <laughs> I'm happy to put this all behind us and get back to work. After all, we've got a lot to do, and only 60 more years to do it. More or less. I don't have the actuarial tables in front of me. Supposed to know where I'm going? I was talking about how the design was so good that you never get lost. I'm slightly lost. But only slightly. Test chamber 19. I'll just move that out of the way for you. This place really is a wreck. But the important thing is you're back. With me. And now I'm on to all your little tricks. Such a good so voice. So there's nothing to stop us from testing. For the rest of your life. After that, who knows. I might take up a hobby. Reanimating the dead, maybe. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> it's true. Um, is that I don't talk much because I don't want to talk over uh, Wheatley or Flatos uh, because they're both fantastic. Sorry about the mess. I've really let the place go since you killed me. By the way, thanks for that. Sarcasm self-test complete. Oh good, that's back online. <laughs> I'll start getting everything else working while you perform this first simple test, which involves deadly lasers and how test subjects react when locked in a room with deadly lasers. Not bad. I forgot how good you are at this. Yeah, you should pace yourself, though. The writing is fantastic. We have a lot of tests to do. Uh, and the acting is great. I mean, look. Portal, the first game, is kind of a perfect storm in that it was a really unique and interesting game mechanic, which by itself could have been very little, but then it was uh, teamed with, you know, Jonathan Colton and uh, get the guy from uh, Old Man Murray, sorry. Uh, such good writers that it's such a great job all around like I know Colton just did the one song point is they took the Nebankula drop you know that great uh, mechanic and just made it into a funny fantastic game and it's that thing that writing can be so good without reams and reams of text as well you know and no dialogue really in that you don't talk anyway I'll stop fanning out uh, well I don't have to stop fanning out because I'm streaming it so I can fan out all I want it's a great game First one. This one's good too. Obviously. This next test involves discouragement redirection cubes. I just finished building them before you had your, well, Hello? episode. 
So now we'll both get to see how they work. There should be one in the corner. I have a tendency to jump onto lasers. Not on purpose, it's just a thing that happens. Oh, did I lose my... Foolishly lose my cube? That was foolish. Where, where did it go? I don't remember what, where I had the uh, other portal set up. Oh, all the way over there. Well, that was silly, wasn't it? Oh, well. I can get it back. Yeah, so this is the part that isn't good when you're playing, when you try to play this in VR. Yeah, it's uh, unpleasant, to say the least. Okay, now this time I will um, actually this properly. All right. Well done. Thanks. Here come the test results. You are a horrible person. That's what it says. A horrible person. We weren't even testing for that. Liked by no one. Yeah, I tend to um, just walk into lasers quite a lot in this game. Um. Don't let that horrible person thing discourage you. It's just a data point. If it makes you feel any better, science has now validated your birth mother's decision to abandon you on a doorstep. Okay. Won't be long before you get to see me take a laser to the face. Uh, that usually happens pretty swiftly. Uh, right, right, right. So what am I doing here? What did that serve function of? What did I just open? That. Okay. Congratulations. Thanks. Not on the test. Most people emerge from suspension terribly undernourished. I want to congratulate ah, you on beating the odds and yeah, somehow I forgot about the fat to jokes. pack on a few pounds. Lots of fat jokes. Kind of unnecessary. Uh, not there's anything wrong with a fat joke, per se. I'm sorry if uh, people disagree with, with that uh, statement. I just mean that I don't want anything that's belittling anyone, but my point is I don't think there's any particular subject that it's impossible to make a joke about in some context. Uh, but I just feel like they did kind of lay it on a bit thick for them to... Uh, only because it's just, it's kind of, it just seems meaner and more fun making uh, fun of her intellect and um, <laughs> general abilities than it is just being like you put on a few pounds. Bye. Especially because, you know. One moment. You are navigating these test chambers faster than I can build them, so feel free to slow down and... 
Do whatever it is you do when you're not destroying this facility. Well, we never really get to see what Del does when she's not destroying facilities. I'll tell you what that is. Okay. Where's the exit? Oh, over there. Okay. And how am I supposed to get there? Oh, I've got a, a cube to there. And power this on. Laser. I need one of those lasery divertery things. I don't have a lasery divertery thing. Right? Oh, but I can just use this, can't I? Uh, and not get shot horribly by a laser. Let's hope. Probably what's going to happen. Um. There we go. Do I just jump? Do I just jump? Is that a thing? I'm not going to make that. It's way too far. Oh, what if I go... Does it stop where I... Yeah, it does. Alright. Uh, I've probably made that too far, and I'm going to end up in the drink. Will I? Or can I make that jump? Not sure. Let's find out. Oh yeah, made it. Cool. Um, now I think I've got to not die. If I hide behind this companion cube, that might help me out. Um, uh, oh, can I get to where that's got to go? It tonight slightly. I'll give you credit. I guess you are listening to me. But for the record, you don't have to go that slowly. Waddle over to the elevator and we'll continue the testing. <laughs> I feel like I should have a counter for the fat jokes. I guess that's two, technically. Great success! Uh, thank you for making that note, Belkos. Appreciate it. It's hard to overstate my satisfaction. This next test involves the Aperture Science Aerial Faceplate. It was part of an initiative to investigate how well test subjects could solve problems when they were catapulted oh, into space. Oh, forgot about Results that bit. were highly informative. They could not. Good luck. Right. Okay. Yeah, sort of forgot about that. So this will be interesting. Yeah! Here's an interesting fact. You're not breathing real air. 
It's no, too Tiki. expensive to pump this far down. No, I've, I've used them. Um, I felt like I had a, a lot of Tiki's so cost, but in. then I've been streaming so now be the uh, for, you know, probably for the rest of two dozen life. times or so, and I it turns out interesting. I've actually only got five. I've used them all. And, and I realized that Tiki's are not single-use items. I can reuse them, and I probably will. But, um... Uh, yeah, no, I've currently got, I'm rocking, there's a laser etching of a dodo on this. You probably can't see it, it's kind of hard to see. But, uh, yeah, this is, uh, got a laser etching of a dodo on. Uh, I may have to get some more tiki's. Um, tiki mugs, because they're great. I almost didn't bring those with me from Australia, and, uh, cat had priorities. So I, I was, I'd be, things like, do I need these, uh, files, or, um, these clothes... And Cat will be like, no, but you obviously need to bring these tiki mugs uh, and this, um, uh, you know, book stand that looks like a vintage wooden thing. Yeah, she, she's got good taste, so <laughs> made me bring stuff that was fun. Some clothes. Like, if I was like, do I need these jeans? She'd be like, no, but you need this restoration coat that you got from the theatre company. So, you know. Speaking of cat, I think I just got that. Ah, oh, good. All is well. They are good priorities. And you know what? The tiki mugs have been great. They were not damaged in travel. Let's see what the next test uh, is. I've worn that restoration oh, coat a number of times. So, yeah. well, He's right. You can I get jeans. I'm soaring through anyway. the air without a care in the world. I have to go to the wing that was made entirely of glass and pick up 15 acres of broken glass by myself. <laughs> All right, let's fly. Now, where am I going to? No idea. Well, let's try this and see what this is like. Oh. That gets me back where I came from. Good job. Hey, our first death. Drowned in radioactive sludge. Uh, that's not bad. I got 52 minutes in without dying horribly. Let's see what the next test not is. Not too bad. Oh. Advanced aerial faith plates. Well, have fun soaring through the air without a care in the world. I have to go to the wing that was made entirely of glass and pick up 15 acres of broken glass okay. by myself. So, let's, uh, let's try this a little differently, shall we? Where do I want to end up? I don't even know. Let's find out. You just kind of know where your end goal is, but let's just, let's just play. Yeah, it's just drowned again. All right, this time I should probably look and see where I'm actually trying to go. <laughs> let's right. see what the next test is. Oh. Advanced okay. aerial faith plates. Yes, we've heard well, this joke now. Have fun times. soaring through the air without Acres a care in the world. Does sound I have very to painful. go to the wing that was made entirely of glass and pick up 15 acres of broken glass okay. by myself. All right, so this time I should pay attention to where I'm actually trying to go. Firstly, it's not that one, it's that one. I think maybe it's, it could just be that and that. Let's find out. Let's find out. Together. Cool. Oh, sorry. I'm still cleaning out the test chambers. So sometimes there's still trash in them. Standing around, smelling and being useless. Try to avoid the garbage hurtling towards you.
You don't have to test with the garbage. It's garbage. Press the button again. I want some of that garbage. Thank you. I'm not sure where I want that garbage. I think I'm probably making this harder than it needs to be. Um, yeah, totally am. I was about to do something very challenging that was totally unnecessary. When that works. Remember before when I was talking about smelly garbage standing around being useless? That was a metaphor. I was actually talking about you. And I'm sorry. You didn't react at the time, so I was worried it sailed right over your head, which would have made this apology seem insane. That's why I had to call you garbage a second time just now. <laughs> Did you know that people with almost an hour really want cake? Startled by loud noise. I'm sorry. I don't know why that went off. Anyway, just an interesting science fact. Science? Oh, did I accidentally fizzle that before you could complete the test? I'm sorry. Go ahead and grab another one. full of the things. Absolutely worthless. I'm happy to get rid of them. I don't really recall what I'm supposed to be doing here. Uh, right, so I can't... Silly now, I've forgotten how this works. Oh, there we go. Oh, I guess I was overthinking that too.
going with this. Is that helpful up there? Thank you. Every test chamber is equipped with an emancipation grill at its exit, so that test subjects cannot smuggle test objects. Don't out worry, of the test I'm area. not even trying this to one is broken. With me. Don't take anything with you. Now it wants me to take a cube. I don't remember if I have to or not. Let's find out. I think that one was about to say, I love you. And they are sentient, of course. <laughs> we just have a lot of them. This next test involves emancipation grills. Remember, I told you about them in the last test area I that did not remember. have one. I did. Yes, got rid of the Here. Oh no, the turbines again. I have to go. Wait, this next test does require some explanation. Let me give you the fast version. There, if you have any questions, just remember what I said in slow motion. Test on your own recognizance. I'll be right back. Right. trying to shoot this. Ah! Sorry, you told me not to take lasers to the face, but I'm gonna do that anyway. Not even sure what that achieved. What did that achieve? Way out or not? Did it? Not sure. Um. 
Oh yeah, I guess it did. Fantastic. This looks aggressive. Okay. Well, Selkos and Silent three other viewers and uh, Xeno Paradoxus. Um, I'm going to do this again, I think, in two parts. Uh, I'm either going to pick up from here or I may do um, uh, the co-op mode, part two. I may do like an hour or so of the co-op mode. Um, but thank you very much for um, coming along to see me die a couple of times, solve a bunch of puzzles, uh, and remember how good this game is. Uh, yeah, but I will be back either tomorrow night or the night after and I will do more of this or maybe I can coerce someone into playing the co-op mode with me uh, and we can do that together. Um, but yeah, you are most welcome, Salkos. Uh, thanks uh, for watching and I am totally going to go eat cake now. Um, you won't see it, but I could post a photograph on the internet just to prove that I am indeed about to eat cake. Um, because I know if the one thing it needs, it's a photo of someone uh, eating cake. So thank you, and uh, I'll see you all maybe for part two. I think I might try and do co-op, because uh, I've played this game through in single player many times. So maybe co-op will be more fun uh, for me, and possibly for you. But you're most welcome. Um, yeah, and uh, I'll stream something tomorrow, uh, even if it ain't this. Uh, and cell cost, photographic proof, sure cake photos coming to Twitter. Um, yeah, alright. I'll see you all again soon, possibly. Thanks for watching. Bye.